The next step is to prepare my pen for injection. I have an Ozempic pen. Let's see, Ozempic. So this one is not an auto injector. You do have to put the pen on every week. Anytime you have a pen in medicine, whether it's insulin or Ozempic, Trulicity, or Monjaro, um, always inspect the medicine. See if it's cloudy, if it's changed color. Make sure there's medicine in there. This looks good. If you have an auto injector, especially if it's Trulicity, Monjaro, with Govi, I highly recommend you leave it out for about 30 minutes. It makes it easier and less painful to inject. It also decreases the risk of a pen malfunction. Sometimes when the medicine is still cold and dense, it uh, causes the pen to malfunction. That's kind of a bummer. So let the medicine thaw out for 30 minutes, 30 to 60 minutes at least. This is not as much because it's such a small quantity of medicine. I don't usually let it thaw out. So I'm gonna put my, again, clean hands. This is the little needle, it's a BD Ultrafine. It twists on. And you take off this first cap. Under here's the needle. Okay. So for this Ozempic, it's similar to an insulin pen where it dials up. And the first dose is 0.25. And this pen injector, it also goes up to 0.5. And so you're usually on the 0.25 for a few weeks and you go up to 0.5. I just take the 0.25 uh, twice a month for maintenance. And so when you dial it up, oh, it, it fell off, but you can usually see a little drop of, yeah, it's there, medicine go to the tip. So it's primed and ready. All these pens you're gonna hold, ideally with your dominant hand, and you're gonna hold it like this. This is one thing I always tell my patients. You're gonna grip it with your fingers, and then you're gonna push down, because you do have to use a fair amount of force to um, push in the any of the pins uh, buttons so this one you can this one you can pinch your skin or you don't have to with the auto injectors for Trulicity, Mounjaw, and Wagobi you just put it flat against your skin because the once you push the pin in it's going to propel the needle into your skin and you'll just hold it until the needle plunges into your skin it's really it sounds unpleasant, but it, that's what happens. You'll feel the needle, and then you'll feel the medicine go in, and then you'll feel the needle come out, and you'll hear a pop, and just wait about five more seconds, or count to five, and then you can take it off your skin. But this one, I'm just gonna pinch my skin so I can show you. Okay, so the needle's in. I can't feel it because it's so small. Okay, medicine's in. I'll take it out. And so that's done. So I have to put on these little, this little cap back. Twist it off. Be careful of that. That's the needle on the inside. Put this cap back on. I should have screwed it off with that, but I didn't. Okay. And then you put that in the Sharps container. Please get your free Sharps containers at Monjaro.com. And... When you get a Sharps container, don't close it because it'll be locked forever. So keep it open, throw your needle or your pin in there, and then when it's full, take it to your local disposal place. You'll have to look that up wherever you live. Okay. So this will go back into the fridge because it's not a single use, it has several doses. And then I don't have to do anything with my injection site, so that is all done. If you are using, again, if you're using the pins, Wagobi, Trulicity, or Manjaro, because of the way the pins are designed and the medicine is designed, some people do get a hive, like a local reaction. I, when I did Trulicity, I always got a hive and it was worse on my stomach than my thigh. And you can put cortisone or a topical hydrocortisone over the counter and ice on it. It will go away in anywhere from 24 to 48 hours. 